Today I want to show you how easy it is to characterize a crown milled out of an Edelweiss CAD CAM block. I use an Edelweiss T block and have the unique advantage of painting it from the inside. As we all know, applying colors to the outside is neither realistic nor long lasting. I take the milled crown out of the machine and can start immediately with the staining and special effects that I want to include in my final restoration. To chain more space, the cement gap may be increased during the construction process. However, with the technique that I will now demonstrate, there is no need to increase the cement gap with the machine settings. Depending on how intensively I want to set the accents, I treat the inside with a diamond bird to get space for the appropriate color. After removing the sanding dust, I apply a very thin layer of Edelweiss Bond and Light Cure. For this case, I demonstrate the effect colors from Edelweiss. I place the desired colors in the previously ground identitations and simply paint or apply the effects that I want. To simulate a dentin stamp, I apply appropriate color, for example a darker shade around the neck or the crown, or white spots or halo effects around the incisal margin. I then light cure. I finally apply the cement I want to bond the restoration. In this case, I use Edelweiss Composite. Finally, I show you how quick and easy it is to polish an Edelweiss crown. I only use a brush made of goat hair and one made of cotton. Not having to use rubber polishers not only saves money, it also means not risking surface loss. The contact points remain exactly where I designed them before. This is also time saving. After more than 30 years in the dental industry, I don't know of any material that can be processed more easily and quickly. Apart from the perfect properties of the material and the compatibility for the patient, the possible uses are enormous and the result terrific.